So welcome to the East Face of Triven, and this is the next part of our story, where we move from the gullies to the buttresses. The first generation of climber had climbed the alpine ridges. The next generation were to turn to the gullies. But one man was going to lead us out of the darkness and the confines of the gullies and onto the buttresses themselves, and that was Archer Thompson. And that's what we're going to do today by following First Pinnacle Ridge. Archer Thompson was not only going to bring us out of the gullies, but he was also going to become quite the connoisseur of a certain type of climbing. So much so that despite this route being climbed in 1894 in hobnail boots, I'm not looking forward to it in modern sticky rubber. So this is Thompson's chimney just up here and uh, what I'm going to do is see what I'm doing. I've had to uh, leave my bags, rucksack and camera down here but I can scoot back down after I've done it. terrifying safe and well. By climbing first Pinnacle Rib, Thompson had opened up a whole new facet of climbing, that of the big buttresses. What was to follow was going to be some of the biggest and boldest ascents ever made. Given that the climbers of the day 
were equipped with hemp rope and hobnail boots. What they did is pretty incredible. So having come up First Pinnacle Rib, which is of course the first of the buttress climbs in North Wales, what we're going to do is to send one of the routes that came before that, North Gully, with the little variation. I'm going to miss the very bottom of North Gully out because it is actually quite nasty. Thanks again for watching my video. If you'd like to support what I'm doing, you can either buy one of my books, um, How to Climb Harder by Pez de Press, a self-published book called Hanging by a Thread, which is about the history, science, technology and culture of rock climbing and mountaineering, a lot of which uh, I've based this series on. And last but by no means least, uh, North Wales Climbs by Rock Facts, which will have pretty much every climb that I'm going to cover in this series. In this, uh, in this guidebook. Again, thanks for watching. So if you want the freedom of the mountains for the day, you've got to do this. <laughs>